Hey guys, welcome to an edition of uh, Not All Norse Pantheon. This is God Hel. Um, in the other, in the end of this, I actually say Hela when I mean Hell. Hell. So um, I don't mean to. If you think I take it out of context, so I'm messing up. It is a simple name to say, and of course, I made it hard and uh, difficult for the explanation. Uh, God Hel is actually recognized as a underworld god. Um, goddess, and she's also considered an ice giantness. Um, but she has an important role to play into the Norse pantheon. And to make it sure that you people, um, a lot of uh, Christians out there and stuff, are gonna think that she is a demon or that you know she's evil, when in fact you find out that she is not evil whatsoever. She is what I would call a mutual goddess. I hope you enjoy. Now I hope you enjoyed that music of God Hell. Um, in the intro I said I messed up the word Hell, so I redid it. Um, as we see that she had uh, some titles here, the, the Giantness Goddess of Death. Um, mainly because she is a giant, giantness, um, but she's also a giant of uh, important, you know, stuff. So... In the Nine Realms, we saw that she was War of the Nine Realms. Doesn't mean that she's God of it, Goddess, and she was Queen of the Underworld. Again, whenever you mention the word Underworld, um, a lot of Christian beliefs um, misunderstand. Now, I make these videos for educational purposes, not just for pagans, but also for Christians. And if you feel I'm saying something offensive, I do not mean to. I'm just saying that us pagans strongly believe that all gods are stolen by the Christians and converted into perversion. Um, but anyhow, the word, all twenty names and spellings that we had was Hell, Hella, and then of course Hell, H-E-L-L. -L. 
which does not surprise me that that's where the Christians would have got the name for hell. Um, she's also a hag slash clone, so she's an important aspect that she is the clone aspect of the three maiden, maiden model goddess. Um, goddess of death and unaward, again, that I said, but also life and spirits. So she not only controls death, but life as well. That is why I call her a mutual goddess. Half of her body is that of a beautiful woman, um, and the other half is that of a skeleton, usually. She had sacred animals, which was wolves and dogs. Dogs are more domesticated than wolves, but her one brother is a wolf, so it makes sense that she would have a very strong bond with wolves. Her sacred colors was black and white. Again, you're looking at yin and yang. Her um, element was earth. And then we are looking at her Sabbath, of course, would be Samhain, which is Festival of the Dead, the Pagan New Year. Her associated planets that we saw was Pluto and Mercury. Now, if we go back to our gods and goddesses, a lot of the gods and goddesses throughout my Pantheon series has had, if they're related to death or the underworld, the associated planet is usually Pluto, because I know that Pluto is no longer considered a planet, but it still is to me. And it is a dead planet, they said, so basically that would make sense of it being, you know, a deaf god's planet or goddess's planet. Our representations was light and dark and the tree of life. So you see there that she is not really a bad goddess at all. She had a lot of herbs and incense and a lot of stones. As we can also see, a lot of her stones were black and some were white. And uh, some were three, you know, so again, that's yin and yang, the balance. Her wounds, I'm not even going to try to pronounce. She had a muddle, but her muddle was a giantess. And uh, her father, Loki, got a mischief. And um, we know that she had no wife, I mean, she had no husband, no level, no, no children. God, Loki, um, she was God Loki's prize Donald. She is the one that is going to attack Rannock with Loki. Now, again, I see that she's a neutral goddess, but she really loves her, her father Loki, if you go into the stories and research it. Um, and Loki loves his three children. I forgot the other two's names, but Hela is mainly the one that he really loves. And she's going to be there attacking Asgard with him. Which, in aspect, may call people see her as an evil goddess because so. Um, well, anyhow, we won't introduce to her in the new uh, Ragnarok movie from Thor. But again, it's Hollywood and they don't have it correct. And she was in that movie, um, being a goddess of death. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this series on God Hell. And um, please take time to understand before you judge. Anyhow, this has been Remo Pagan. Goddess bless.